Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I model uh, buildings, or rather how I model my projects in Revit. So if you're ready, let's get started. When you open Revit uh, version 2019, this is the screen that you're going to see. The very first screen before you get to open any project or start working on any project. At the top here, we have some tabs that we'll get to discuss when we start creating our project. But I would like us to take a look at these thumbnail images that we are seeing here. So that at the top here, we have projects. And these thumbnail images here are showing the recent projects that had been uh, opened. So at the, at, at the bottom of uh, these title projects, you have options for opening a Revit project file and options for creating a Revit project file, which is a new one and options for creating a new tablet and in this case if you are able to create a construction template an architectural template a structural template and a mechanical template below that we have families and families are like uh, the individual components that form part of our building model so these are the things that we bring together as a assemblies and, and, and components to form uh, the project now. So in this case, here we have a room tag, a sample architecture family that had been opened, a sample structure family, in this case this is a trust that had been opened, and a sample uh, systems family that had been recently opened in Revit. So under families here, we have options for creating, opening uh, a Revit family, that is an existing one, and for creating a custom uh, component, to use in your project as a new Revit family and an option for creating a new conceptual massing model. To the right side here, you have the various resources that will be very useful for you as you work in, in Revit. So you have options for or other links to getting to know what are the new features in, the, in, in Revit. You have uh, offline help, you have videos, on what's new, you have essential skills videos, you have additional videos, this may be tutorials. You have a link to the Autodesk App Store and a link to the Revit community, which is a place where you can ask questions and share information about Revit with your peers. Below here, you have a thumbnail for a video tutorial that is a getting started video. It's going to show you how you can get started working in Revit. So when we are done with the data explanation, I want us to create a new project and in this case we'll go to where we have the list of projects below here you have an option for new click on new when you click on new you are going to get this uh, uh, pop-up or dialogue that is uh, asking you for parameters that it is going to use to create a new project for you so this one requires you to select a template file if you click on this drop down you'll have options for selecting none, a construction template, an architectural template, a structural template, and a mechanical template. So if you are interested in creating a mechanical uh, project, or rather you are working on, um, on uh, something to do with the mechanical engineering project, you're going to have a mechanical template in place. If you are working on a structural engineering project, you're going to select a structural template. If you're working on an, on an architectural project, like our case here, you are going to have an architectural template uh, open. If you, are like, if you are a contractor, you are preparing uh, construction drawings, you're going to have a construction template in place. In our case, we'll click on an uh, architectural template, and then below here, you want to make sure that you have selected uh, create a new project because we are interested in creating a new project, not a project template. When you're done with that, you click OK, and Revit is going to start creating a new project for you. So our new project is already created, and we have a, a blank white space here, which is going to be our workspace. So these four arrows that you can see here they are our elevation markers 
we'll be talking about elevations later in the in in the tutorial so this is where you do all your modeling all your drawings all your annotations and everything to do with the project to the left side of that above here you have properties which is going to be displaying the properties of uh, the various design items that we'll be selecting in this case we are on the floor plan and you can see here uh, properties that are active here are properties for the floor plan stuff to do with the scale display model um, and visibility and all this below that we have we have this project browser which shows us the structure of our project in this case we have our project structured in terms of floor plans we have ceiling plans we have building elevations we have legions schedules sheets families and groups so that's it so we go to to the top here we are going to see frequently used uh, operations such as uh, options for opening a project saving our project synchronizing and modifying settings we have the undo and redo commands we have print measure and all these ones that you can uh, look at on your own time and see what these icons mean at the bottom we have the various tabs that we are going to be looking at and we'll be using most of this in our project so in this case the very first one here is an architectural tab and it, this one this one is going to allow us to create the various architectural elements for a project starting with walls doors windows and components that is uh, the, the various uh, design elements for example under components we'll have stuff like uh, mechanical uh, elements sanitary wear mm, furniture for the building etc we have columns we have roof ceiling and floor curtain system curtain rod mullions we have circulation stuff um, uh, circulation items to do with railing ramp and stairs we have model uh, items model text model line and group we have room and uh, area openings data and workplace the next we have the structure tab which is going to give us access to the the, the structure connection foundation reinforcement and the model uh, groups allowing us to put in place beams structural walls columns floors trusses brace and beam systems connections for all those isolated foundations like uh, foundations for the columns wall and uh, slab reinforcements and all those we have a tab that deals with the, everything to do with the steel structural uh, systems and we go here to systems which here we have a group dealing with heating ventilation and, and air conditioning so everything to do with uh, ducts duct place holders air terminals fabrication parts all those mechanical items piping and plumbing things to do with pipes electrical stuff and all those so this is where we have the services engineers coming in so we have the insert tab which deals with them uh, giving us options to link and import data from external libraries and from external files we have a tab annotate tab which uh, gives us options for putting in place dimensions details text tags color fields and symbols then we have analyze tab for doing uh, analysis here we have things like analytical model uh, commands we have analytical model tools we have a uh, group to do with spaces and zones reports and schedules here you can uh, extract schedules from your model this is for checking systems and uh, energy optimization we have a massing and site uh, tab we have a collaborate tab we have a view tab which is going to allow you to switch between the various uh, uh, views we have a manage tab for managing your data and linking with uh, other apps such as um, dynamo or dynamo player that is for visual programming we have add-ins for linking revit with third party planking third party plugins that are going to help us in uh, modeling our project 
And the last tab here we have is the modify tab, which is going to allow you to do modification to any of the uh, design elements that we'll be creating in our project. For example, you have options for cutting geometry for joining, for demolishing, for moving, for aligning, offset, copy, rotate, just the basic uh, modification commands that you will find in uh, any design software. So as at that, I just want you to, to post this video, take a look at the various tabs that we have looked at, for, right from architecture to modify tab and get to familiarize yourself with the various tools that are there. And from there, we can now start uh, creating our building model.